stones, thunder flash. And with a yo ho ho, it's Tale of the Toast. So welcome to a special video in the Inazuma Eleven Go Chrono Stones project, where I'm going to show you how to unlock the match against Children of the Night, the hidden super boss of the game. What you want to do is head into the extras menu on the title screen first, and you will need to do this both a copy of Thunder Flash that has beaten Nosfanatica, and you will need a copy of Wildfire that has beaten Luna Howl. Whether you own both of the games yourself or if you just meet up with a friend, it doesn't matter, but what you will need to do is go into the secret, and that asks you to link with a copy of Wildfire, which I have to my immediate left. You cannot see it on screen, but I am currently linking one with Thunderflash. You can see on the top it says secret link level 3, Link level 1 is the default, level 2 is after beating the game, and Link 3 is after beating uh, Nosfanatica or Luna Howl, depending on which version of the game you are playing. So, I have seen that it has worked on my Wildfire, and now it's going to say so on here too. So Link 1, which you can do whenever, just adds some new shooting move manuals to the shop, which we'll look at in a moment. Link 2, after beating the game, unlocks a new competition route in the Sengoku era, so head to Nijo Castle for that one. And Link 3, most importantly, is the match with Children of the Night, which we'll be covering in this very video. So give that link a go if you have another copy of the game to work with. Let's explore the rewards! So taking a look at those rewards first, heading into the Inazuma TM bus, Dracula's castle actually disappears and turns into the Football Frontier Stadium, so I don't know if we can ever go back there, which would be a shame if we, if we can't, but uh, fortunately we're already in the place that I need to be, Ryman Junior High. So this is your link level 1 that you can do at any point in the game, and the reward is very, very reflective of that. This is this kind of reward is something that would only really help out in the very, very early game and is not exactly a good reward now. But if you link Thunderflash and Wildfire together, you can get move manuals for Zephyr's shot, which is Arian's shot chain, Fortissimo foot, which is Ricardo's shot chain, and Doomsword slash Victor's weakest move. It's there if you want it. Definitely your biggest reward is here at Nogoya Castle in the Sengoku era. We can talk to Hidesada, who would not be here if you hadn't linked the two games, but you can have a look at his roots, and they're relatively normal in level. We don't even have the top secret tickets left uh, yet to take a look at the whole thing, but we've got a very thunder flashy background here, so I do wonder if it would be different in Wildfire. Look forward to the competition route video for that one. But I imagine this is probably where you would find uh, matches like Children of the Night in the post-game routes. So take a look if you can link both games together. But of course our main reward is here, not at Dracula's Castle but now at Football Frontier Stadium at night, the same place that we uh, once teamed up with Mark Evans to take on Protocol Omega. We are returning here at last. So, say goodbye to Dracula's castle and the like, it was a decent little palette swap area, but it's definitely gone now. And now where are we? I know this place. It's the Football Frontier Stadium where Coach Evans and his team became national champions. So why are we here? I have no idea. The bus just decided to come here of its own violation. It's a total mystery, I'm afraid. Wow, stadiums are so quiet when they're not filled with spectators. Hello, my mediocre friends. Wolfram, Desmodus, what? We couldn't help but notice you little snacklets have been growing stronger and stronger, quite indiscreetly, I might add. What are we supposed to do, really? We can't have you getting too big for your football boots. So, we're going to teach you a lesson. Yeah, that! To cut a long story short, we're gonna join forces. What? No! Unfair! 
We are so strong that all of your puny efforts merit only a scornful laugh. <laughs> we are the children of the night, and you have no chance of beating us. The thought of facing you down makes me itch with excitement. Or perhaps that's the fleas. Rawr! Charming Wolfram, as always. So, shall we begin? Oh boy, oh boy, so here they are. I mean, you all knew this was going to be uh, the circumstance. This happens in every Inazuma 11 game. Once you've taken down the version exclusive teams, you can see them face off with each other. And the, this is probably the most unlikely partnership. Their only relation is that bit of knowledge, uh, well, that bit of relationship with Simeon. But, yep, nothing else to see in the stadium. Let's just take them on. Are you ready to begin your last battle? I think so, I am level 80. It once again gives you the option to build the team, but uh, this is the state of my current team. It's only got one new player, but that new player is Nora Flexion from um, Nosfanatica. So I have not seen if she's going to be in Children of the Night, but we could have a little mirror match here. Hero I unfortunately haven't been able to armor fly yet. All I've done is mixy max him with Van. And I had one more player in mind for this team, but while well, unfortunately my player binder is only at 71% and not 75%, make of that what you will. Here we are, the formation will do. Flexion is kind of out of the way. She's also mix and matched with Stake, another player from Nos Fanatica. Let's see if we can win. So there they are, level 80, and of course they have pretty high stats indeed, especially the two strikers, Desmodus and Wolfram. Let's have a look who's involved. They do indeed have Flexion in Strike Force. They know how popular she's going to be. She's got some great moves like Emperor Penguin 7 and Disaster Strike. But there we've got Wolfram Vulpine at the front. We never really got to see his moves in the previous match. He's got Werewolf Howl and Nocturne. Two exclusive shooting moves. With Nocturne also being a part of Dracul's moveset with Bloodsucker Bite. I believe that one we did see, but Wolf Werewolf Howl we definitely didn't. So it's a good job that he's on forward and he might be able to get a goal for us later on. Or maybe Luke Kaon will do it for us along with Twin Sun Smash from uh, RX and friends on Perfect Cascade. So these guys, they've got reserves for once, which the other teams did not. I even saw uh, Asterox there on a defensive move. Fantastic. So pretty much most of the players have been represented, but there's obviously an even balance of players on the pitch, albeit the, you know, the lead striker is definitely from Luna Howl, backed up by him as well. Let's take him on at the Football Frontier Stadium at night. I feel like it might as, might as well have been at the same venue as before, but either way, what am I going to do with my spirits? Let's just get straight in here for a mirror match. I can use Sandman... Uh, thanks to the mix and match with the other chap stake, but let's just go straight for Argentia, her actual spirit that she has by default. That's presumably the goalkeeper with Koro Koro gone. And boy, this is the first time I've shown Koro Koro gone in a video. But man, if you've been playing through the competition routes like I have, you will probably be sick of that thing by now. He's a game-exclusive fighting spirit that, for some reason, they just give to everybody. And wow, <laughs> Flexion's already been defeated. Should have mixed him out, clearly. Jeez, these gonna, guys are going to be tough. But yeah, like, even Liu Bei has this fighting spirit. They just give it to everyone, I think. Uh, a perfect cascade. Some, someone from a Xanax domain, that'll be the one. They just randomly give Korokorogon as well. I am going to bring out the stationer as a first bit of early defense. We've got two spirit-equipped flexions on the field right now. Yeah, that's not going to be confusing at all. Wait until I pass to the opposing team's spirit summoner. 
Um, for now though, they're getting me out with some pass work here. This has just been the Flexion match all over. Acrobotics easily beaten. Um, special tactic already. I've only got so many of these, but I'm going to have to reserve them specifically for uh, last minute defenses. I didn't go for Absolute Barrier. I went for the weaker one to save TP, and that has got me ever so slightly screwed over. Superior Crayon Power already. Icicle Road is her shot, and it's plenty good when it's on my side, but when it's the opponent. Not so good. Mechamark is not mix and match, so I think this one might be a goal already. No, it's not. Mechamark pulling through. Um, let's get that mix and match on him right now. Try and make it last the entire match, shall we? Um, I think I need to get a long shot in play just to get the ball well out of the way. So that's going to have to be you, Goldie. Just don't let Wolfram get it before you. <laughs> Might be able to get a shot chain going with Ricardo. I'm sure it will get blocked along the way, but Doremi will set things off for now. Go on, Ricardo. No, he didn't get involved at all. Thanks, mate. Really, really helpful. <laughs> Back attack is just being the absolute enemy of this match so far. Right. I need to pick a second spirit. Who's it going to be? Bailong is not anywhere near the action right now, but he's probably the one I'm going to need to actually get the goals here. So I'm going to put some faith in Mechamark and just uh, hope I can get the ball to White Wyvern 4 in some fashion. Hero apparently is going to have to be my defender here with Land of Ice. Is it going to work or is he just... Yeah, <laughs> exactly what I thought gets beaten out by a raw dribble. These guys have stats on another level entirely. That is my Flexion that just ran out of moves, so that is universally a bad thing. I have one spirit up right now and he's not even made contact, but this is Werewolf Howl. The move of Desmo... Uh, of uh, Vulpine. That is pretty silly, not gonna lie. <laughs> just the comic fire breath from the wolf there. It's a decent laugh. We've stopped the ball again, but, you know, this isn't meant to really be about stopping the ball. It's meant to be about scoring goals, and a dodgy bit of camera work there has stopped me from moving up the pitch entirely. I am firmly on the defense here. Finally, we see format disc, the dribbling move of Ragnar and other hyper-evolved children. Ah, oh, this is what I was waiting for. The passion, the fury. My vampire blood runs hot today. Rawr! You've woken up the wolf inside me. Watch out, it bites. Your fate is defeat. Time to finish this game. Oh! So that means I think they're gonna go for, um, yeah, Nocturne, right? Oh, it turns the screen upside down. Very clever. I wasn't all that impressed with the random 3D wolf head in the background. That just seems to be a bit of a burden on any move that they're involved with. I was tempted to not even use a move with Mechamark because I thought that would just be a guaranteed goal, what with the dialogue. But, um... And I, essentially, I have made it one now because I used Penguin the hand, got myself stunned immediately, and I've already lost possession. Should have gone for God Hand V there, I'm afraid. Ah, he turned into a wolf. No, I don't think he did. That's a mix and match. Rawr! This is the heritage of the moon. Bow down before me. I'm mashing buttons, hoping that it lands on something like a special tactic. Just mashing buttons in the... Right, I clicked mix and match. Um, that's not all that helpful, unfortunately. <laughs> that was the worst thing I could have clicked on. I guess we're going to give it to Zanuck. Right, I'm mashing buttons again. Um, mix and match is below. It it's above special... Ta ah, I just clicked on mix and match again. Um, yeah, not going to be able to stop this. Let's go for a capable hand for the sake of it. He's only gone for a regular shot, and it's still 609 power. 
But while I'm stunned, that is going to be a goal for them. Penguin the hand was my poor decision, and we are now losing. Well, I guess you're just the captain, aren't you? <laughs> At the front on Strike Force and get the goal celebration quotes as well. Well, poor Thunderflash players. Yeah, we cannot let him anywhere near our players right now. Bylong, it's up to you to level the scores. I wish I had the Tempest out rather than my own spirit. Um, yeah, I just have to go straight for the armor fly. I don't have confidence that I could get past these guys otherwise. Yeah, if I had the Tempest on Sika from, uh, you know, Chuga Liang, then I could at least carry that a bit further forward. 969 power there. We've only got one player left to dribble past, so hopefully Bylong should be able to respond immediately with a goal, but even if he does, it's going to be back in the possession of those guys for the next half, and that in itself poses a problem. We are going for a Thundertaker to get the stun immediately on the opponents. No, not, in matches like these, I need to focus less on leveling moves up and more just on being able to score at all. Crimson Sphere is the move of Koro Koro gone, and as if I wasn't sick of it enough, it's even stopped the ball. And, yep, yeah, unlike my stunned goalkeeper Mecha Mark, he was actually able to get it away this time. There's already three players mixed and matched, and Alpha doesn't have one anyway. Well, here we go, it's all falling apart now. Oh, oh, he's actually let that one go! Um, Zanuck doesn't have his spirit out, but I am the almighty and I'm gonna score anyway, right? Let's see about that. 549 against the stunned Korokorogon, that could be good enough, he'll probably armor fly. Now he's going for a Crimson Spear while stunned. What's gonna happen? We're gonna score the Equalizer. Good stuff. Love a better mix and match Zanuck, such a cool character. Shame his fighting spirit doesn't last very long at all, but now is the time to start using it, I think. Passes to uh, Flexion. <laughs> yeah, that one still has the spirit up, unlike mine. Such a shame. I will summon regularly just in case we can't engage with uh, Flexion or whoever. It looks like it's... yeah, exactly. So I was right to not armor fly because I would be wasting it now if, if I did that. Oh, DV pulling in! And then I just completely passed it to absolutely nowhere. I was so... I had so little expectation of DV from Perfect Cascade to actually have the ball there that I just utterly chucked it away. Oh dear, oh dear, I have one more defensive special tactic and right now I think I'm going to have to use it. Not the most menacing person that could be on strike force, but just hopefully I can get the ball in the possession of a long shooter. I don't think that DV is one, so we're going to Zanuck instead and try to get a deep run going. A new move that I've given him, a move manual that I got from a competition route, is Decoy Deploy. The, uh, the dribbling move of Ragnar that isn't format disc. So, very, very good stuff. That's going to be extremely helpful on Zanuck as he goes for another goal. Don't even bother trying to get in dribbling duels, just outrun them. I'd love to show off Disaster Strike at least once, but I need I Am The Almighty to even stand a chance of getting in the lead. Goalkeeper not stunned anymore. Will he be able to stop this one? I'm so unsure, you know. Armor fire is happening on Koro Koro gone. <laughs> it's another Cable Hands appearance somehow. And we've got the goal, so we are leading now against Children of the Night. That is brilliant news, but they've got the mix and match out on both of the signature players. They could score at any moment. We've got no absolute barriers left, so it's going to be all down to Mecha Mark to keep that goal defended, which he very much hasn't done in uh, the previous video we used him in. Genuinely nervy here. This is my first take of the match, and I just have no idea if I'm going to win. I'm having a good time trying 
Didn't think Xanak was going to be our lead gold scorer. Goal scorer, but I'm going to. I was actually pressing the button anyway, but this is the opponent summoning. We're going for Sicker this time. As usual, we know that we can uh, bring out two separate fighting spirits on players like Phylong and Flexion, who have a spirit belonging to their mix and match and to themselves. That's the that's the exploit you want to rely on. Spatial portal again. I gave to Zanuck based on his former mix and match with So So, but. Definitely prefer the one with Zeta. <laughs> Inline Stampede is not working out for either of the flexions today, is it? Give me that. That was actually a really close duel, but once again, I'm forced to go purely on running speed and get around these other spirit summoners. Xanax's spirit is gone now, though. Let's go for another I Am The Almighty. I wish it could be more varied for you, but this is the strongest earth shot in the game, so I'd be stupid not to use it, especially when I've got a critical. Let's go! Oh, we've got another goal, I think. Capable hands. Well, you'd have to be very capable to stop that one, and you are not. Zanuck with the hat trick. And I don't even have to worry too much about letting the opponents show off what moves they have in response because I think between the past three videos we've pretty much seen them all. Oh, sorry, Bylong's a little too close for you. Am I breaking the rules there while you go for. Um, I'll go for a regular block, try to keep the regular spirit going a little longer. Now, inline stampede is an automatic win. I should know better than that. Just wanted to get the Tempest involved, but instead I have screwed up entirely, and now we've got to stop Flexion on her crusade to the goal. Deary me, well, she's certainly my favourite involved, but look at the mix and match, by the way, on uh, Vulpine. I didn't even bring attention to that because it was already summoned in a previous video when I took on uh, Luna Howl themselves, but... Boy, that is a transformation, and I can say that in my own personal playthrough of Wildfire, where I've been getting a level 99 team built up, um, yeah, I actually added Vulpine to my team, and it sure is interesting using someone with that option. It's definitely like no other player before it. Um, will we get to see that in action? Uh, possibly. I think... I want to get a level 99 team built up on both Thunderflash and Wildfire and use them for various purposes. The Wildfire team is pretty much good to go, whereas Thunderflash I've had to keep at level 80 for the purposes of this match, and we haven't seen what's to follow. Mecha Mark is done, and we've got 20 more minutes to play, so I think we need to do something a little bit cheeky and make a substitution at the earliest available time. JP the Hero coming out for his second redemption arc of the post-game series, potentially. We'll see if he proves to be of any use. But Beckham Art genuinely held the fort down. He's been impressing me. He's only let one of them in, and it was really fair game. Dimensional Deluge is the signature shooting move of Aster from the Desperados. We didn't get to see that one either. Goldie, I think, is going to get tripped up by default. I think they're honestly too close and she might get past, but it's the only option I have. Especially because Dire Wolf, by the way, is a midfielding spirit, so it's the opposite of Dracul. Dracul has... Oh, wow, I just won the interaction by default. Okay, I'll, t I'll take that then. Yeah, uh, Wolfram is a forward, but he has a midfielding spirit. And then Dracul is a midfielder. His spirit, I actually can't remember, to be honest with you. Um, Ricardo, get this into more of a chain. I could make better use of Goldie than to just armor fire and then get rid of her entirely with a shooting move but if we can no I was going to say if we can get a goal I'll bring her up the pitch for now wall of Atlantis is a block Zanuck you're still here I mean by all means I could spirit link him 
and go for another goal potentially. That would be the wise thing to do right now, but I don't really want to use Spirit Link. It feels just a tad cheeky. Um, we'll go for the goal, mess it up, and then see who else is able to support Zanuck on backup while we waste a little bit more of this guy's FSP. Not a great deal, but... Um, well, apparently we have absolutely no one involved. Very, very helpful. Go on, Bylong, get involved. You were the MVP previously. Oh, no. <laughs> Suddenly making me instantly regret that lack of a spirit link. Yeah, Direwolf will have no problems getting past with Burning Claws, but at least we get to see it. Good stuff. I like to see it. 1,220. We do actually have another absolute barrier. That is a surprise. I guess because I failed on the first attempt, we actually have this one in the backup brigade. Let's go for an easy breezy kid. We should really go for dance on air. That is the stronger move of the two. But uh, oh, we've won the won by default, Takian making no real effort, just trying to attack. We've rescued a goat! Oh, the goat was in so much danger in the middle of a, fit, a football pitch against some of the evilest players in attendance. Let's go for a not long shot for once and instead bring out Victor's spirit because, would you believe it, he's still here, bless him. He's not had possession the entire time. Uh, the heroic swordsman Lancelot is here to save the day or something. Seal Matrix Z is already beaten. Wow, Victor, that, um, yeah, you really helped, mate. <laughs> it's one of the few moves that I do have fully leveled up on Thunder Flash. Complete contrast to my wildfire team where I have entire players with uh, full movesets where everything's leveled up. Ricardo's getting there though, Athena's Anthem level 4, one of the fun mega moves we've got on him. Now that we've somewhat gotten this match wrapped up, let's have a think about the Children of the Night then. Um, I believe they have a very special coach, if I'm not mistaken, and I completely forgot to bring attention to that. Um, I'm actually going to keep that one on reserve, I think, because there must be some way I can show that off. But until we can demonstrate that properly, um, yeah, I never said anything clearly. Uh, Spirit Link on Mecha Mark, because I completely forgot to substitute him for JP at every chance I had. I mean, it doesn't matter too much if he does score, but... We might as well make make a bit of drama and see what he can do. His armified spirit is just giant. It looks so imposing. And his Mixy Max move is Atomic Flare A. Which, to be honest, now that I've played as the guy in Wildfire, is a pretty poor decision. Because if you're playing Wildfire, you already have Soul Daystar on your team. Now <laughs> there's the beaten superior crayon power. Yeah, Atomic Flare is already in Soul Day Star's moveset, so if you want to get this guy, you already have that option, so it's not really that impressive to have it there again, but the Tempest, I think, might be our best chance of getting past the Dire Wolf. He has armified it, so he can't use Burning Claws anymore. And there we go, we actually win a duel with this guy for once. That's, that's pretty impressive. Uh, but yeah, so do I have a preference out of Nosfanatica and Luna Howl? Before I would have said not really. I think they're about as interesting as each other. And then now that I've actually started using players from their team, I've developed attachments to certain ones. I think Flaxian's definitely my favourite between all of them, of course. And then Wolfram, he was one of the version exclusives I cared the least about before recruiting him and now now I've seen his dialogue for the first time and played as him a bit then uh, I've grown to like him a little bit more uh, by long I won't worry too much about the Thundertaker let's just show off a little zero magnum level three 
Yeah, I still think they're on fairly even footing. Another critical, let's go! That's fantastic! Just in case we were in, in any last danger of finishing on a draw, Bylong has secured that one for us. Oh, brilliant, with one minute of playtime left. Yeah, so just let me know in the comments, what do you prefer out of Luna Howl and Not Fanatica? Uh, even looking at the venues, I think they're pretty evenly matched. It's genuinely so hard to develop a preference, and it's the least preference I've ever had, versus the previous game where Go Light had uh, absolute shining <laughs> with Captain by Bylong, the strongest preference I've ever had. But that was fun, that is the first time I have ever played that match in my life, and I'm really pleased to have done so. That was a lot of fun. A loss. Hardly a beautiful result. Ha ha ha! Bear witness to our incredible power! Get the level ups. We have the top secret ticket 2 to use on that competition route that we unlocked in the Son Sengoku period earlier on. Good work, everyone. We did it. To think these little fawns won against the children of the night. Have you been holding out on us all this time? It was a fun match, though. You have to admit that. Oh, I dare say you're right. As much as I hate to admit it, there are more things in heaven and earth. What he means is, it was a good match. You did well. Ah, what? Uh, I can't move. Th they've gone. Where? Who are you? And why do you think you have the right to bring us here like this? You must know about us and our powers, am I right? You two are certainly something special. But I couldn't care less to contain such unusual blood. That is to say, genius is meaningless. I am not interested in such abstract concepts as potential. I concern myself only with realities. What I seek is strength. Strength beyond that of mortal comprehension. I have returned to this world to collect strong people. That is the planet's wish. The planet's wish? What do you mean? Come now, I think you're exaggerating a teensy bit, don't you? You need strong people. That's why you gather all of us together here. That's correct. But your powers are hardly even worth considering. You have all grown complacent, satisfied with your own skills. As such, you couldn't hope to reach the level I desire. No, you're simply going to work for me and gather those I deem to be truly strong. Oh yeah? And whose army? I'm fully aware that you've been abusing your powers. The way you lot are going, you'll end up in prison before you know it. That's a threat, by the way. So make your choice. Shh. No choice at all! I won't follow you! I don't think you quite understand. I control your powers. You cannot stop me. <sighs> Then we can consider your decision made. You may call me Grandfather. I shall rule the shadows and take the strong under my wing. You will take on any challengers and defeat them. Using the full extent of your ability, do I make myself clear? Grandfather has spoken. We all have our parts to play, so let's get to it. <sighs> the 
Don't you think your methods are a bit overbearing? No. They will learn. They'll discover unseen depths within themselves, and they'll learn how to deal with them. That's one way to do it. That's how I do it. That may be so, but we're running out of time. We can't afford to lead them by the hand. There's no need to worry. It's under control. Where did Wolfram and Desmodus go? And what's that? Is that a parallel stone? Let's check it out. Oh wow. I didn't know this was gonna happen. What? Um. Okay, I know what we're in for now. This parallel stone is not like an extra scripted match against Grandfather or anything like that. This is one last competition route, the hardest in the game, the Grandfather route. It is small. There are only five matches involved, four even, but... Oh, right, there's one here. So, yeah, five matches, but the very first one is level 99, and so are all of the remaining matches. And at the end, you can have a rematch with Children of the Night, coached by Grandfather. And that is the biggest, biggest, biggest challenge in the whole game. My team is not ready for that yet. There are two level 99 routes in Chrono Stones. One is found within Inazuma Tower in the past by Mr. Veteran, which you need a download item to get into. I think what's going to happen is that I'm going to run through that with my Wildfire team, possibly on recording, while the Grandfather route I would like to cover with my Thunder Flash team. So we will see how that goes. But now... We're going to sign off this video with just a closing thought on what we've seen because I have never, ever gone through that scene. I went years and years of the game without even knowing that Grandfather was involved and then I just found it online one day. I thought, oh wow, so that's a certain bit of foreshadowing to a certain other game that never got localised. Good job that the... English fan patch is probably out now by the time I release that so keep an eye out and see more about Grandfather and Batumri however you say it in that one Batumri I didn't even know was in this game at all I have learned that today I had to fluke his voice on the spot but well that was a bigger reward than I expected I'm really happy to have seen that scene for the first time ever but Make sure to tune in for another video in Chrono Stones for a bit of level 99 competition route action. And at some point, the multiplayer. See you later.